Hi everyone, welcome to another cosplay tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up cosplay for harvesting. For today, we are in Sosnovka and we are on in front of field 23 and field 23 is ready for harvest. So the first thing we want to do here is open the cosplay HUD, which we do by clicking on the right mouse button and here we have the HUD. Now for this one, we want to be in the field work mode, which is that button there. That opens up the course generation button, which we want to be in. So we are at field 23, so let's select that field 23. And to verify that it is field 23, we can click on the eyeball and we will have a blue line surrounding the entire field. So let's get rid of that again. Now the working width of the combine is 4.4 meters and you can tell that, uh, see if I can come in front of the combine and you might be able to see it here. You see that's the working width of the combine. Um, can I get a good view of that? There I think it's a good view. There you go. Now I like to set it just a little bit lower so there's a little bit of overlap. So 4.2 meters. I do that just in case the hired worker misses something. Now there's a less risk of him actually missing anything when I set the working width just a tiny bit lower than the actual width of the machinery. So the next thing we want to tell Cosplay is which corner do we want to start in. Now we are at the southernmost western corner so we are starting southwest and we want to head east. So let's go ahead and pick southwest, which is that one there, and we want to head east. Now we could go north, but going north and south on this field here, which means that we would be going in that direction, up there and down again, would mean that the worker would have to turn around so many times. So we are going to go, oops, we're going to go east. And that makes a lot more sense that he goes down the long side of the field. All right, and that is pretty much it. Return to the first point. Yeah, we want that. Now, if we didn't select return to the first point, when he starts off, he's going to start off in this corner that we're right in front of. And if we hadn't activated return to the first point, he would stop in the corner way up there. Now we want to have him come back here so we can use this course again for other equipment if needed. So return to first point, yes. Headlands, we don't really need any headlands. We should be good with space outside of the field for him to turn around. I don't think he's going to crash in, into anything. So we, we should be good to go here. So the next thing we want to do is generate the course and we do that by clicking this one here. And now you see that we have an arrow there indicating that that is the start point and he's going that way there. A good tip for cosplay, always have three waypoints before you start making any turns. So relatively straight line for the first three waypoints. Now when this course is not an issue, but if you were to record a course, you would make sure that the first three waypoints are in a relatively straight line before you actually start making any turns. We're going to come back to that in another video. Okay, so he's ready to go now. So we want to save this course in case we need it again. And we do that by clicking the floppy disk icon, which is going to save us the current course. And in here, we're going to say field number 23. And we are harvesting. And it's 4.4 meters. Now that should give me sufficient information if I am to use this course again. So escape, or not escape, enter to save. And we have it over here. Field number 23, harvest 4.4 meters. Now I'm going to put this into a new folder. I'm going to create a folder here called field 23. And I can click this icon here which move to folder and I'm going to click it into that folder there. So in folder field 23, I have the course field 23 harvest 4.4 meter. And we are ready to go. 
In fact, before we click drive, we have this over here, which is the combine controls. The combine controls, I can manually request a driver if I feel like I need it to be emptied out. Now the priority of which driver it's going to request can be selected here. It can select either by distance, which means that it would select the one closest to you, or it can select by fill level. Now if you have more than one uh, tractor uh, carting grain from you, you can select the, the tractor with the lowest amount of grain in the trailer. I'm going to set it to distance um, because it's not really an issue. We're only going to have one uh, tractor carting grain from us. Stop during unloading. We could activate that and the combine would stood still when it's unloading, but we prefer to have it moving. So we should be just about ready to go. Now I want to have swath here as well. Uh, see, uh, there we go. We should have swath. There we go. Okay, we're ready to go. So let's start at the first waypoint and start up the engine and drive the course. So he's often driving the course now. Oh, it's soybean, so we're not going to have any swath here. That doesn't matter. We are still off. So he's doing his job. As he's supposed to do and it's going pretty well now I could jump out and have him just move along here and he's gonna be fine meanwhile I can pick up a tractor let's pick up this one here and drive over to the field So, at fill 23, let's head on over there. Alright, so here he comes. Or she? Is it a female? Actually, I didn't notice. No, it's a male. And he's going to turn around and he's going to head in the other direction. There we go. We should be fine. Put space up here, so it's gonna turn around and hit the other direction. Let's go. And he's off again. Now he's gonna continue on until this field is done, or at least until he's full. So our job is to make sure that he doesn't run full. So if we run in to drive alongside him here and remove the covers. If I drive up on the side of him, he's going to high back and I can follow along and he's going to unload into the trailer. There we go and we can drive this back to the farm. Now, obviously we can use a course play course to get this job done as well. I'm going to be showing you that in another video. So that's it for today's video guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.